Welcome back to another episode. We're going to check out these tiger grizzles. We're going to have a real quick look at them. Um, just because I'm a little bit low on time today, but tomorrow I've got the day off, so I'll actually get them out. We'll have a bit closer look at them, and we'll have a bit of look at their pedigrees as well. So you notice in here that we've got two very stunning Willie Teal tiger grizzles. Um, Willie actually watches some of these videos, and he contacted me, and the one on the right he gave to me as a gift, which is actually one of his really good tiger grizzle cocks. Um, and then the hen is on the left. She's actually really stunning. Um, she's definitely my favorite for some reason. She's just a beautiful bird. Maybe because it's the human or the Hermans in her, but there's just something about her that I'm, um, I do really like. We will go into more detail because both of these do have pedigrees. And Willie has been working on these birds for, I would say close to 40 years. 30 to 40 years these tie grizzles so they have been raced for quite a long time the cockbird is crossed with the Greek munich or something it's probably not the correct pronunciation but i will put it up on the screen um, what he's crossed in with they're all the pythons originally are all off import birds so they are probably grandchildren maybe i will go into more detail later on with the pedigrees um, and this hen here Oh, she's absolutely beautiful look at her they both are beautiful but there's just something about her she i don't know what it is but she's amazing i'm so so i'm actually super excited about both of them and i thanks willie so much for sending the cockbird here this one he gave that one to me as a gift and i said to him look can i buy another one off you and he actually sold me this hen as well but he done it quite cheaply because she is a super pigeon really um I think her sister may have clocked 52 out of 302,000 birds or something the other weekend out of 430 kilometers. I will double check that as well, but um, it was very close to that when we go into a full detail video on them, but I just really wanted to show you guys the tiger grizzles that we have to work with. So I'm gonna try and pair these two up and we might do three rounds out of them. So we get six babies hopefully, and we definitely will be able to race them. Then we may look at splitting them up. I'd really love to put this hen maybe with Leo or Titan. Um, just because I definitely want to put some of my Hermans into them as well. So I just she's just beautiful, she is. But that's basically the gist of it. We've got these two. They're in here. Um, I'm going to keep them locked up in this little box. Get them paired up. Uh, I'll put a nest bowl in there and maybe couple of days they may not want to pair up just yet but the nest bowl might help them and i do have actually two more pigeons i'm picking up tomorrow um, i'm a little bit carried away but these are the two last birds that we are bringing in they're not colored birds they are uh one of them is a cock which is basically another one of the van blocks which is pretty much not quite related to these these are both down off kittle um, the cockbird that we've got is off gold dust, very closely related to gold dust. So that's going to be pretty interesting. We'll go into full details on that ones as well. They'll come with pedigrees and things like that. And we do have a hen coming at the same time. She is very closely related to Kittle actually, a lot closer than these two. Um, she might be a granddaughter of Kittle, but she's also related to Olympia 003 and also i'm pretty sure it's the jan the jan's in there as well so she's a mix of vdb and herman coosters so she's actually a bit of a super pigeon that one um, in my eyes compared to what i've got so bringing in two more we might pair them two up i've got tomorrow off so i'm going to pick those guys up and um, a few other errands i've got to run as well so that's going to be pretty exciting i won't go into too much at the moment but i've probably put photos up of them on the side as well and we'll probably move them down into this box. We'll put this merely into that box um, once I get in here tomorrow and give it a good clean out with um, Adam Archer's Leo Herman's hen. Well, she's Herman Cooster's actually, which is pretty much the same thing just when those those two top flyers teamed up and started breeding more super pigeons. So um, that's the base. We're going to shut the doors on the loft and try and get this breeding down pat. The only other things we might do is um, bring the white hen and we might try and pair up to the blue bar pied cock that we've got. He's VDB as well. So it'd be interesting to see if we can breed some pure whites because we've got some pure blacks. Um, and those two colours 
are going to be very important when we too continue on with um, the tiger grizzles because I really want to put some effort into these guys and try and build the flock up and try and race them full seasons. Um, they already are just as good as some of these other birds as well. So um, I just want to get the flock a bit bigger of those so we don't lose too many. But the blacks and whites are going to be good to bring back in, especially our spread blacks. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Next few days are going to be pretty interesting. We're going to continue on with the loft build as well over the weekend. Um, this weekend is the only free weekend I've got until my wedding. So I would like it done by then. And also I have uh, M3, M3, a benzene M3 clock coming with a 75 centimetre pad. So that's going to be what we're going to use on our new loft. So I've got a brand new one of them come from benzene, which is going to be super. That should turn up in the next couple of weeks as well. And we've got maybe 60 to 80 clip rings to go with that. So we're definitely moving ahead. Clocks, we've got our um, ETS coming. So we'll be able to use that, set the new trapping system up on a new loft. We've got our tiger grizzles. We're going to set a few more pairs up. We've got our two new pairs, of, well, one pair of birds coming with two new birds. So there's a bit coming. And then it's time to get all these nest boxes filled and start sorting out that loft and filling it with some really good pigeons. Um, and we're going to go through that loft as well in the flyers. Probably going to take out all the split barless, maybe sell them or just give them away. Um, and any other pigeons that I find reasonably questionable. Just because now we've got some nice tigers, we're going to use them as our colour base. We've got a couple of split barless that are in over the back here. We may keep them ticking along but we won't we're going to split that pair up because i want to utilize that nest box and we're going to get this big mealy breeding as well he's sitting a little bit lonely so it's all happening this is just a quick update but tomorrow we're going to go into a lot more detail about a lot of other things and over the next few days as well so stay tuned get ready things are getting pretty exciting see you all in the next video